Hello, I've been one checking Talon and Shanshir since season 10. Uh, when I was new to town, I was really struggling with proccing passive and stuff. So I figured I should make a combo guide and stuff, since I think that's the most important thing to know before you start playing town. Okay, hi. Uh, before I go into like combos, I wanna explain uh, the abilities a bit first, like how they interact or whatever. So the Q, if you're close to someone, it will be a melee range Q that does 50% more damage, and it also resets your auto attack. But if you're a bit far away, it will be a ranged Q that will make you jump to your target, and you will auto attack anyone. Or yeah, when you Q, you also automatically auto attack whoever you hit. One thing that's important is that your melee Q will reset the auto attack cooldown. But your range Q does not. And then when it comes to your W, you see it has a cast animation before you can do anything. You're locked for a bit. However, if you Q during that, or you can Q during that, and you will cancel the W animation. And your R can be used during anything. You can R during your Q. And you can R during your out attack. And you can R during a leap. However, if you jump while you're in your ult, it will cancel it. Another thing that's important to note about the W is that you can W flash. Or another thing to note about the W is that the hitbox is a lot larger than what it actually looks like. As you can see on the way back, it hits people around you a bit. And also on the way out. Another thing about the R so we'll go on however you out attack and however you kill. Another thing that's important about the R is that igniting or smiting during it will cancel the ult and make the blades go new. Another thing about Talon's Q is that he's killing a unit with it will reset half of its cooldown and heal you a little bit. So for example, in lane you can you want a mini minion, W enemy laner, walk with them, out of your auto. What she died, you know. This can also be used at later stages of the game to get down enemies and out of your auto. Another thing about the Q is that it can actually follow people pretty far. Another thing about the Q is that after doing a melee Q, you get extended attack range for a half second, which lets you reach a bit further. Another thing I wanna say is that your E actually scales with move speed. So right now it's really slow, but if I go ahead and buy <coughs> by this, it's gonna be really fast. Okay, so let's get into the combos a bit. We're just gonna start with something really easy, of course, like the Akka combo. We're not gonna be talking about the ult yet, so we're just gonna auto Q auto. Okay, this one is basically like the Akka combo, but it's auto attack W Q auto. Then you can W Q on it when the bleeds come back. You can also angle it like... Oh, sorry. If you have it like this, you can like Q, when the blades come back, you can change the yeah, angle the W blades with the Q, um, and yeah, you can also W flash out the Kyoto, in early levels for example, maybe W and side out the Kyoto. The W, flash, oh yeah. Emotes, it's too much. And then you can also, you know, change the direction, like W, E, Q, for example. Another combo you can do in lane while chasing people is to Q, auto attack W, run with them, hit the auto attack when the passive. Another combo you can do is to W, Q, auto, and auto again. You can also flash out to W, Q, auto. You can also W flash out again. 
when you're chasing people with flash up and you know they're gonna flash, you can Q on them and hold the W for when they flash and W flash with them. Okay, let's get into more advanced combos using the R. So the first one is to WQR. WQR. You can also flash with it, so W flash QR. And you can also ignite with it, W flash Q ignite R. You can also flash for melee range, W flash QR. You can also W flash R out the Kyoto. Another combo you can do is to WR and then range Q as well. Another combo you can do is to W flash R Q out. And then like the Auto Kyoto, like W Auto Kyoto, you can also use R out of W Kyoto. You can also flash with it, so you can do flash R out of W Kyoto. Another combo is to use Q, WR, however, it is very important that you keep after you, that you time the R properly, because if not, it will be blocked by the W being casted. You can also flash Q it, you can also R early, run at someone, Q, W out. A way that this combo is really useful is if you ER from fog, Q, W. You can also ER and behind someone. W out. Yeah. You can also ER flash out to W count. Another thing you can do is to W ER out count. Another combo you can do is QR. Note about the QR is that if you click on the side it will cancel out the attack, so you can go around. A way that this is really useful for is if you're, let's say, want a flash, flash combo ascend, you can WQ, wait for W to connect, and then out, so that he said can't dodge your ult with his ult, for example. Another thing you can do is to angle the W on the side when it comes back. And then this combo is just kind of dumb, but you can cut, catch someone by surprise. Okay, let's move on to how to approach team fights and a bit more advanced combos. Combo that's really useful for team fights and stuff is if you Q WR, then you can auto. This is dummy flasher. Then you can auto one person and Q auto the next one. You can also auto Q auto one person. At three items, you get a pretty big power spike since you can W, Q, proc passive, ult, and then proc passive again. The combo I usually use in team fights with face rush is I will Q on the front line, ult, run behind a squishy, W, Q auto. Another thing you can do with the front line is to auto Q auto ult, never mind squishing, W Q auto. You can of course do auto W Q auto as well. Okay, let's move on to how to escape and other tricks. Okay, when it comes to escaping, my favorite way to escape, <laughs> when it comes to escaping, if you get caught in a silent or something, for example, is to auto Q auto proc face rush E ult and E again. The reason you wanna E ult is that when you E ult, it looks they can't see your E animation, so it looks like you just ulted like this. So they can't know if you jumped the wall or not. Okay, so before I end the video, there's like two honorable mentions I wanna do. It's the sadism combo. Which is R, Q. Elect. And then you want to go ahead States. and get elected as uh, president Biden, of the uh, United States. Called, uh, uh, R. Which is a really strong combo since it lets you ult two times in a single rotation. And the other honorable mention combo 
is to be R, Flash, Ignite, Q, W backwards, E, Auto. Well, that was kind of everything I had to say for the guide, the video, whatever. Hope you liked it. Uh, I really tried hard with this one, so if you like like it, it would mean a lot to me or something like that. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new. But yes, goddamn AFK 